Extraction 2 is the brand new action thriller exclusive to Netflix as of this past weekend. From director Sam Hargrave, who brought you the original film three years ago, and writer Joe Russo, who is one half of some of the MCU's greatest hits, Winter Soldier, Infinity War, Endgame. And with star Chris Hemsworth reprising his role from the original Extraction, this certainly has the pedigree to be a really good action movie. But does it live up to that pedigree? Well, let's see. After barely surviving his previous mission, Tyler Rake, once again played by Hemsworth, retires from mercenary work to a cabin in Austria, where he's approached by a stranger, played by Idris Elba, and he is tasked with rescuing his ex-wife Mia's sister, along with her two children, and they're all currently imprisoned along with her gangster husband at a prison in Georgia. Now, I feel like it's only fair for me to talk a little bit about the first extraction, since I actually didn't review this movie. Yeah, it's nuts. I actually, I thought I did. But it turns out this movie was released on April 24th of 2020. And if my math is right, that's about three weeks prior to the actual launch of this channel. So Extraction just missed the boat for me on being one of my very first reviews I ever did. And that's a really solid action movie in its own right. I think it definitely does its purpose. It has a lot of really badass sequences. Chris Hemsworth absolutely understands the assignment. Extraction 2, on the other hand... Who oh boy. I think this is a sequel that absolutely blows the original out of the water. This sequel has the better story, it's got the more riveting drama of the two, and oh boy does it have more breathtaking action sequences. Like, not to discredit the original, but Extraction 2, I feel like Sam Hargrave absolutely stepped his game up from the previous film. Because Extraction 2 looks awesome. These action sequences are all freaking brutal. They are disgusting. They are dirty. The direction and choreography of these fight sequences really makes you feel like you're in the action with these guys. And a lot of folks, I'm sure, have talked about the 20-minute one-take sequence. It's where Chris Hemsworth initially breaks this family out of prison. And this is an action sequence that's a thing of beauty. I'm sure I have a lot of viewers out there who are action movie aficionados, or at least they claim to be. And this is a sequence, this prison break sequence in Extraction 2. This is one that should be studied by action movie fans for all time. Because once you hop onto that train ride, who boy, you better hope you're in for it. And you better hope you buckle up, because it is absolutely relentless. There's moments where you think the action is over and done with, the sun has started to rise, and you're like, okay, that was awesome in its own right. But it just keeps going and going and going. Like, I did not want it to end. The stunt work that went into it, and the CGI effects, and the cinematography, it just looks... Awesome! Extraction 2 is an adrenaline rush that action movie junkies will need off of Netflix. And Chris Hemsworth, even though he's taking a break from acting right now, it really does feel like he's trying to step into more of a younger Tom Cruise role right now. This guy has a very proficient understanding of the action genre, as he should after he's been playing Thor for all these years. But this guy takes it a whole step above, doing all of his own stunts, really getting into it with the action, and giving a really good performance to boot. Like, I don't think Chris Hemsworth necessarily gets the credit he deserves for his dramatic chops. I mean, granted, a lot of people were shitting on Thor Love and Thunder last year when I really enjoyed that movie. I will take that to my grave. It's a really enjoyable movie. Not as good as I was saying it was a year ago, but definitely better than a lot of other people are saying. And a lot of that is because of Chris Hemsworth. And he brings it in Extraction too. This is a character that feels almost invincible in a lot of ways. And that might be where issues start to creep in, where it's like, okay... How has this guy survived? He was in a comatose state for a good majority of the first act. And here he is kicking ass and taking names in a gigantic prison break sequence. But here's the difference between this movie and a movie like, say, Fast X, for instance. At least in Extraction 2, this is grounded enough where you can kind of suspend your disbelief. And you can kind of start rooting for this character and hope he makes it out alive because he's very vulnerable for a lot of the movie too. And yeah, I understand that the story may be a little bit generic for some people's liking. This is a guy going in to rescue a hostage family. I mean, whoop de doo You've seen that in a lot of action movies. But I think it's Sam Hargrave's methods and Chris Hemsworth's courageous performance in front of the camera. I think both those elements and some really breathtaking action really propel Extraction 2 over the top. Yes, 
Yes, 100% this is better than the first movie. I think it's an improvement in every facet. And if you're looking for a hidden gem action movie that's exclusive to Netflix, like, God, I wish I could have seen this on the big screen, like, my word. But please, I urge you, do not let Extraction 2 fly under your radar, especially if you're an action fan. I'm gonna give Extraction 2 an A-. minus. God, this movie was awesome. Let me know what you thought of Extraction 2 down in the comments section below. Do you guys prefer this movie over the original Extraction? Do you feel the other way around? As always, guys, sound off in the comments. I love discussing all things in movies and entertainment over here on the regular. And getting to interact with you guys makes things all the more fun. You guys are a great community. Let's continue to grow this, shall we? If you're new, smash that subscribe button. What the heck are you waiting for? Tap on that like button as well on your way out. Likes really, really help these videos, and it really helps the channel continue to grow. Y'all are the best, my friends. Stay tuned for more exciting videos very soon. Jam-packed summer continues to roll along over here. And with all that being said, back talk commence.